Hey guys, uh, this is Normal for Technic and today we'll have a review of uh, the camera on the Nokia X. So this is the latest standard powered smartphone released by Nokia. So this was announced as a mobile world congress in Barcelona and uh, it comes with um, an Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. So now it comes with a 3 megapixel camera. So it's a very basic camera. So we can see here at the back you have the 3 megapixel camera. So Nokia has uh, removed quite a lot of uh, features from this camera. There is no autofocus. It's a fixed focus camera and there is no flash also. So it's a very basic camera. So don't expect much uh, from this camera. Further, there is no front facing camera. So if you use, if you need a, a Skype video calls, you will be disappointed with this device. So now let's go ahead and uh, check out the camera. So it's using the Nokia camera app. So we have, you know that the Nokia camera app is pretty good because it's a really well built app on the uh, Nokia Lumia phones. So now let's uh, get started with the review. So uh, you can see once you open the uh, uh, camera app, you can see the three controls. So one is uh, you can view the pictures, then uh, taking snaps, and then you have the ability to switch from video camera to audio camera, I mean the normal camera, photo camera, and also panorama. So those are the options here and at the top you can see you can you have the ability to zoom here so that's uh, that's one of the feature here then on the side uh, you have on the right left side you have uh, three settings one is the white balance so you can select the white balance from here so quite a lot of uh, options here so daylight fluorescent cloudy etc then uh, you uh, can adjust the exposure so uh, plus um, zero to uh, plus 2 and minus 2 that's the maximum values available here then you have the settings uh, so under the camera settings you have uh, quite a few options so uh, then you can adjust the ISO you can make it auto or you can select the ISO uh, yourself then there is face detection that's uh, that's the only say, um, option available uh, apart from having no autofocus so since you don't have an autofocus you need to um, uh, keep the object uh, pretty distant because you need to get the focus um, otherwise the, uh, the photos will be blurred out so face detection is one good uh, uh, option because it will detect your face uh, based on uh, the camera I mean the locate position so that's uh, that's the only saving uh, option here then uh, you have the saturation levels um, set here then apart from that you can also set contrast so apart uh, so although the camera does not have great features the UI and the fe feature set is uh, pretty good so then you have the sharpness uh, automatic exposure a save location in case you want uh, uh, location information on a photo so you can get a set that then uh, the picture size maximum is uh, uh, 2048 by 1536 so that's the maximum resolution then you have a picture quality you can set it to fine super fine as well as normal then uh, you have color effects uh, there are few color effects like mono sepia negative echo etc then there is a sh shutter sh sound you can enable the shutter sound if you need finally you can uh, you have the ability to restore i mean the save images to either memory card or internal storage so based on wherever you have space you can uh, set that then finally you can restore the default options now going to the so you can see here um, taking photos just take a uh, does take uh, quite a lump amount of time so if i press here so it's take uh, taking a, a second of time uh, to capture the photo and then get ready for the next shot now let's go to the other option so let's go to the video cam so video cam uh, can record uh, the maximum of 480p so there is a very low resolution so we can uh, do um, settings from here so these are the uh, video settings so we can again save location now uh, video encoder you can you can select the file type encoding type then there is audio encoder audio encoder then uh, video duration the maximum video duration you can set to 30 seconds uh, 10 minutes 30 minutes color effects again uh, you can select if you want any color effects power mode so that's uh, another option here <coughs> low power mode or the normal power mode again you can save videos to either internal memory or the SD card so that's again available here then apart from that uh, you have the white balance option so just like the photos then you can set a time lapse interval for um, videos so you can set from 1 second up to 10 seconds for time lapse uh, uh, videos so that's again a good feature but uh, the problem is that it does have only 
uh, 480p resolution then uh, you have other uh, option to select the videos so video quality you can select the uh, wvga standard vga then uh, qvga etc so those are the options available so the maximum is uh, 480 by 800 pixels so that's the maximum you can get from this uh, video camera so that's pretty low by the standards because most of the cameras in this pr price range comes with uh, uh, around uh, H3 recording so this is just a 480p recording so that's again a disappointing fact now let's uh, see some of the samples photos from uh, this uh, camera so here are some photos taken using uh, this device so this this was taken um, during uh, uh, night with um, artificial lighting and again this is another one so this is the keyboard so you can see if you um, uh, I mean zoom in there's a large amount of noise included in the photos so this is another photo taken uh, during daylight so you can see here the photo blurs out uh, when you zoom in the photo and the maximum resolution is again uh, really bad so it's a terrible camera I would say so when you compare with the competition it's a really bad camera Nokia is included in this device so it's doesn't even uh, have good photos when you when you take it outside also so the photos are really bad and you can see here if I zoom in uh, there's a large amount of noise added into the photos so just very basic camera and uh, you can't even get um, great shots using this camera so this is a video recording of uh, taken using this um, camera so while you watch the videos on the um, uh, phone it's just uh, good it's just basic but when you watch the videos on the uh, computer it's really bad actually so it's not that great uh, even in video recording so these are some of the photos taken uh, with the camera so don't expect this camera to perform uh, really good uh, it's even in uh, daylight it's not that great so forget about taking this uh, photo taking photos uh, in night or even low light so that's uh, that's one area Nokia X really fails is the camera and if you compare the competition say for example Nokia Lumia 525 or other Android phones like Panasonic T, uh, T31 which we reviewed previously so those uh, did have better cameras than this although it was just 5 megapixel camera so this uh, this camera is really bad 3 megapixel is in the good by any standards uh, right now on uh, smartphones because at an 8k pricing you need at least a 5 megapixel camera with flash or at least an auto focus camera so this is a fixed focus camera and there is no flash also so that's a really bad uh, thing from nokia so the camera is not that great on this device so if you're looking for a camera performance from nokia x you will be disappointed so that's our review of uh, the nokia x camera if you have any questions um, regarding this, uh, drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this and thanks for watching this video.